All right, so I just got a question. Someone's asking, hey, when you're going out to lease property for a billboard, are you better off just going with the standard land lease or should you try doing an easement deal or should you try to buy the property? And of course, this 100% all depends on the location and the price of the property and a bunch of different factors. But, you know, a couple of different scenarios is, um, you know, I've, I've always done the standard lease deal, um, primarily just because the cost of the property where I'm leasing is so enormous, it doesn't make sense to buy the property. Um, you know, if the property is, you know, two or three million bucks, by the time you got a loan on the property, your your note would be so so high every month that it, it wouldn't make sense. So um, it also depends on if it's, you know, vacant land or is it already an operating business there? Um, you know, it's a bunch of different factors to, to come into play, but you could potentially buy the property if it's a, um, if it's a larger pro piece of property and, or if it's a property that has some type of defect, like a big gully or an unusable, unbuildable part of the property, you could purchase the entire property and then get the billboard built on the unusable or unbuildable part uh, for a standard commercial building and then just survey off a half acre and um, then resell the remaining acreage probably for about what you paid for it because you're just using the unbuildable part anyway. Um, if you didn't want to do all that, you could just do an easement back to yourself and then resell the, the remaining property, the, the, the entire acreage, but you'd have a billboard there for life. So, um, you know, that's a smart way to do it if you, uh, if you, got, if you got the capital to do it that way. Um, and you, you don't have to do it, you know, in these scenarios, I'm, I'm thinking pretty expensive pieces of property for doing digital billboards. You could do the same thing with static billboards out on, out on farmland too. You know, you can, if you find, um, property where you can build a static billboard, you could buy multiple acres and then just do an easement back to yourself for, um, while you're, I mean, buy the property, do an easement to yourself while you own the property and then um, sell the property with that easement, but you still own the billboard, so you, you don't have to pay any monthly or yearly fees going forward, um, if that makes sense. So that, that's one way to, uh, to do it. Um, I typically, like I said, I typically just do the standard lease just because I haven't come across a lot of those scenarios. Um, most of the time, the landowners um, you know, they, they know what they're doing. They, they're not just going to sign up for a, a, a easement right off the cuff. Usually for an easement deal without buying the entire property, uh, you're going to have to, to put some, a large lump sum down, uh, in lieu of monthly payments. So, you know, maybe eight, 10, 12, 15, however many years you negotiate, up front of rent payments in lieu of uh, those monthly rent payments for the next however many years. I would say a standard uh, lease term, I try to get a minimum of 20 years if possible. Um, if you have to go less than 20 years, I try to do an automatic renewal. So either um, 10 years with an automatic renewal for another 10 and even an automatic renewal for another 10 um, but try to have the standard term at, at 20 years if possible with two or three automatic renewals on there. So it could be a total of 40 or 60 years, uh, if everybody's happy. And then even the, where it automatically renewals or renews, you know, I put that the landowner has to notify me, um, you know, at least 12 months in advance to the end at the end of, before the end of the, that term. So uh, he can't notify me like the week before the end of the 20th year uh, or anything like that. It's got to be in the 19th year um, that he's got to notify me that he doesn't want to renew. And, you know, obviously from a billboard standpoint, um, 20 years from now, they're, if everybody, if you're making your payments on time and everybody's happy, you know, the chances of them wanting to cancel 
in the 19th year and actually thinking about it and actually knowing that's a thing, it's pretty slim. So, um, you know, I think you're probably good doing that. You know, like I said, if everybody's happy. Um, but, you know, you can do a lease term all the way to 99 years if you like. And um, that's, that's common as well. Uh, it just depends on the landowner that you're dealing with and you're negotiating with and um, what he's what he's thinking in his head. You know, some of them are 70 or 80 years old and they're not going to be around or not own the land um, in, in any of these scenarios. They're not going to own the land 20 years from now, um, you know, 40 years from now or whatever. So if that's the case, whether you do a 40-year lease or a 99-year lease, it may not make a big deal to them. So you might as well go ahead and do the 99. Um, anyway, just different things to think about, but uh, it's a bunch of different ways you can do it. And um, there's no really right or wrong way, but obviously, um, you know, if you can get an easement, that makes the billboard itself much, much more valuable um, if you ever had to, to sell it. And it's also a lot more valuable just on the uh the cash flow and the monthly profit as well because you're not paying out every month to the landowner so if you can get an easement that's great if you can uh buy the land i mean that's that's great as well because if you think about it however much you're buying the land for um you know typically speaking land's going to appreciate in the value so you're just trading you know, cash for your land asset, and then hopefully that'll continue to appreciate over time. And, um, you know, while you're not having to make any, any land payments on it, but you got to be smart about it. Um, you know, you can buy such a big chunk of land or such a expensive chunk of land that if you had to finance it, you know, your interest is so high that it, it doesn't make sense. So you got to just do all those calculations and, um, and figure out if it's worth it. It's kind of a case by case, um, case by case scenario. But right now, um, all my deals, I'm just, uh, I'm just leasing. But uh, that is one of my biggest expenses every month is is rent payments. So um, you know, if 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 I had, do have the opportunity to purchase the parcel in the future and either do a easement back to myself or cut off a half acre and resell the rest of it. You know, I'll probably do that. I just got to find the right um, right piece of property where it makes sense. Uh, anyway, all great questions and uh, feel free to reach out if you have any others. Thanks again.